Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Face of the Franchise. Just finished watching the Houston Astros win the World Series, so congratulations to the Houston Astros. I really don't care about the Houston Astros. I, you know, I'm with a lot of people hating them for the uh, asterisk year. So there's been a lot of asterisks the last couple of years. Um, but mainly, I will say congratulations to freaking Dusty Baker, man. I, obviously, he's one of my favorite managers from the Giants history. He's the one that was there. For, you know, I was actually, he's the one managing the games I went to. So, congratulations. For you, Dusty. Glad you finally got your ring. But we'll play some face of the franchise. So, we had a good game last week. One BS interception because the AI broke on Thielen, which was frustrating. But we're facing the Saints this week. I gave the Saints, I gave the Saints a little mix of other uniform. I gave them the new black helmet because the new black helmet is pretty sick. But I also gave them their old school gold alternate jerseys with the black pants. And I would say it looks pretty clean. I like it. So here's the, so here's the hoping we can do better. We didn't play terrible. We actually played pretty good last week. Minus that one. Because if you go back, if you didn't see that episode, go back and watch it. Just something was going on with Thielen's AI in that game. And it was driving me insane. But thankfully, it's new week. Stop defaulting to that view, please. So here's the hoping things go better. They'll come out throwing here on first down. That's to I was gonna throw to Thielen, but I had a feeling it'd be a bad idea. I gave my cat a thing of wet food. I put it next to me. He's slowly licking it under my bed. Dork. All right, Thielen can get open deep, or Wilson get deep in the post. Or I can run up the middle, or I get sacked. Coverage is good on that end. Let's try a running play. See if we get them to bite on the fake zip. Oh, never mind. They're they're ready for run. Who's doing what? Okay, everyone's coming to the right. I meant to throw it sooner, but I thought it was a different button. I almost hit circle, but he had no oh, crappy triangle. Switch your finger. That's good. That could have been bad. Thankfully, it wasn't bad. So All right. Saints okay, that's better. All right, Cook, let it cook. First carry now for Dalvin Cook. He shed the first yeah, block. Nice Tenth, but the he done got got. So this game here in London, the first. Oh, in London? Oh. If I lobbed it up more, he could have had it. He got stuck in traffic a little bit. The Seahawks in the box. That'll be in November in Munich, Germany. First Probably going to go Smith on this there. one. And then we wrap up down in oh, God. Mexico City, November 20th. I was going to go Smith, but I'm going to go for it, huh? And he's be taken down we're the in that weird zone. We're going for it. It's probably not stupid. No, we're going to go for it. That's fine. That's good. Make it, please. Not a bad opening drive. Not a bad opening drive. We didn't make it. Why? Do we punt? Don't tell me we punted. Probably punted. Oh, then we probably got, we got the ball right back. Okay. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Throwing quickly to Wilson. And he'll be marked out right there we go. at the 20 yard line. You always worry about those Either picked it off or we did a fake punt or we did something. Did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could. While completing the play. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That one caught along the My uh, accuracy yes, thing's messed did, up again. But hang on here. A penalty oh, marker wow. is on the nice. So is my accuracy just automatically perfect or something right now? Because, like, well, that flag puts them on their heels a little bit more defensively. I don't know. Just, it's like automatically field. maxed out. And they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because to me, that was an avoidable That could have been a touchdown. Stay focused and avoid major mistakes. All right. Oh, uh, why stick? Ran through one would be tackler. It's second down. You know what? We're going to have him do the fade. Yep. Second and five. Looking in. Oh, come on. <laughs> no one's catching that high pass right now. <laughs> You'll see my franchise mode game this Sunday. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 
Vikings' first touchdown on the year. And the Vikings get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. All right. A love. I wanted to watch the Sharks game while I'm doing this, but unfortunately, it's blacked out. So, can't do that. How did you manage to get... Whatever. I won't ask too many questions. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had a touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll start getting Game's tied now. Feeling in Jefferson. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll get eight on the scramble there. Okay. That was a little fun, a little up and over. So let's see how this scene goes now. Second and two. Someone get open, please. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Now a throw here, hold Good first down. First Accuracy first thing is back. Catch of the afternoon is a first down. The Vikings had two and one now to start the campaign, and they moved back above 500 with a victory last week. And you look at their start: a win, a loss, then a win. He jukes into the defender. This year, because when I, their best, they can I, Bringing their best every week, that's been a challenge thus far. All right, feeling I need to get open on this. Or line, give me enough time. Rolling to his right. Mm. It away and it falls if I got a little more, a little more height on it, would have been good. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. They'll set up to throw. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And he will go for it. A couple yards shy of the first ah, weenies. Tackle coming up from his free safety spot. A two fantastic games coming up to wrap up week four, the first weekend in October. Oh, no. But tonight, the Chiefs and Buccaneers from Tampa. That's a rematch of Super Bowl 55, of course. And then Monday night, rematch of last. We're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Picked off by the corner, Bradley Roby. Interception on that last drive set the other guys up pretty good. They had solid field position. They cashed in with a At least it wasn't a pick six. Okay, hey. That's a weird route. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. I got hit. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. He was trending to be open. He was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say it was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Pass we get the momentum back. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. They'll set up a throw. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Damn it. Hey. Ah. Here he is, the man taking the snaps. All right. We got work to do. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. I'm playing dumb. I'm playing dumb. I right, take my time. Play smarter. In this first half of action. I need to play smarter, not well, you need to play harder too, but second and fourteen. Smarter. Got work to do here after the sack. They're gonna look to throw. And he's got this to Jefferson. Go. And Good play. Get this down to about the 17 yard line he got hurt here. again. He's now hurt in the last game, too. Timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside. I started, I started running like I, was, I had to control the receiver. I uh, played it, too, which is kind of funny, I guess. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And the Vikings are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven yard line. 
Come on. About the way they're moving the ball down the field. They had a big play a moment ago. Followed up with another nice one here. Thielen or Smith. Goes, they're already looking at first and goal. Ah, good play by the defender. Give him credit. Good play. I like what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Wide open. Forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll look to throw here. No one open, no blocking. The Saints gonna call the first At least he got back to seven. As long as don't miss a freaking field goal. They did. It's the Vikings turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession. Oh my god, they missed the field goal. Are you kidding me? Our kicker sucks. He's missed so many field goals. And now it's on me. Oh great. Alright. They'll wind up getting seven. How do you miss a field goal that's the original extra point distance? Oh, so frustrating, guys. I'm frustrated. You gotta hurry up. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't draw many like that one. Second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They run the counter with Cook. Oh, and that one Good run. As you take this down to the 30. I can't believe they missed that field goal, man. 17 yards, first down, Vikings. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. That is caught by Thielen. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Up the middle, it's caught. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Marcus May with a pick, and the Saints are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be... Things, unfortunately, continuing to implode here. The interception he threw on the previous drive, of course, led to the time. <sighs> try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. It's brought in by Wilson. And they get him down. But See, his poor accuracy is actually end up being better. An excellent way to start the drive there. 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already. And another first and 10. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of. And we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Back to throw now on first down. And he's the blockers just give up. Like, oh, he's right now. Let go. Wait till I'm past and let go, please. On play action, they'll throw. Wow. What a shit throw. 
the gun. They have an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up. His time is now run out on this third quarter play. Welcome back now here in London. It's the Vikings in possession of the football, but they need some points there. What happened? Back to throw again. Catch the fucking ball. God. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Look to throw on third and goal. And they're going to get to him. A sack. sack. I had him wide open. He got the cut. And the, the, the my line can't block anymore. Getting the sack. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by the corner, Bradley Roby. And the Saints are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had a victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're good. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And just to add that to the list of great moments for this defense today, they really shredded that game plan on the other side all four quarters. And Charlie, that pick six, that's, that's kind of the cherry on top. Yeah, they did it, and I feel like I'm quoting a bad movie line, but they did it together, didn't they? And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. After the pick six, they go right back to the air, setting up the screen for Cook. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them. Maybe it'll slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it down. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Paulson Adebo, and the Saints are going to take possession of the football. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough, but, man, this defense, they have been ball-hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it, I think... The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side. 
and an inability to advance the ball from the other. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you about it. And the Vikings now heading on to the field. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got him pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect. Really, as a play call, you get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll drop to throw. And he'll find Thielen on the right side. And he's going to have a first down on a gain of about ten. And that'll take us to the two-minute warning. We'll give him ten yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. Well, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understand.